Welcome back to Naturally Corporate. All right, so if you know me in real life or if you follow my channel, you know that I'm pretty mellow. Well, this product has me so excited. I cannot wait to try it. It's the Curl Smith Hair Makeup and I have it in the color Ruby. I think that's probably what excites me the most is the color. I've seen quite a few reviews and tutorials on copper and gold and rose gold, but I haven't seen very many reviews in Ruby. So I figured why not? And I've got sandy brown or dark sandy brown hair. This is my natural hair color. So I, I want to see what the color payoff will be by applying the Ruby. So I'm excited about it. I'm also doing a twist out, which is also um, not very common from what I have seen creators do on YouTube. They mostly do wash and goes. So I will stop talking and get started with my twist out. Also, my hair is freshly shampooed and conditioned, but it's been up like this for like an hour. So I will have to re-wet it and I'll be using my leave-in of choice, which is the Miel Rice Water Moisturizing Milk. twist and um, I'm going to sit under the dryer my hooded dryer for about 30 minutes because it's nighttime and my hair just doesn't typically dry when I'm sleeping and I'm afraid it will still be damp in the morning so when I finish this one up I'm sitting under the dryer My hair is so stick straight. I think I'm going to, after I come from up under the hair dryer, I'm going to put some perm rods on the ends because otherwise this won't, this won't look good at all. It'll just be straight on the ends.
So my first impressions, just immediately after putting in my flat twists, the product is very, at this point, it felt, it feels very drying to my hair. So I can understand why the directions say to apply a leave-in first. And I think this, um, Miel Rice Water Moisturizing Milk is a pretty heavy leave-in conditioner, at least heavier um, than some others that I've used. So in some air on some twists, I did go really heavy with the leave-in and I'm hoping that will produce softer, a softer flat twist out when I take these down. But yeah, it's very drying. Um, my hair doesn't feel super dry, like really dry, but as I was trying to twist, there was no slip. That's what I'm trying to say. There was no slip. So off to the hair dryer I go. All right, friends, so no hooded dryer for me tonight because I was carrying my hooded dryer to the table and the bottom half just broke right on off. So I will have to air dry after all. I wanted a new hooded dryer anyway because this one by Kiss dries very well, but it's really, really loud. So if you have any recommendations for a hooded dryer, let me know because your girl is in the market for one. Okay, friends, so my hair is dry and I've already started taking it down. I think the color is so pretty and I guess it's a ruby. But whatever it is, it is beautiful. And I'm so glad I chose Ruby over any of the other colors. And as you can see, I tried to get my lipstick to match. <laughs> my hair is surprisingly soft. I was really concerned that it would feel dry, but I think they, Curl Smith knew what they were talking about when they said to apply your leave-in moisturizer before applying the hair makeup because my hair is actually ridiculously soft and I love 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 this color um as far as it being messy I did see I read a few reviews on Ulta and quite a few people said that the application was messy I don't feel that it was messy for me what made it almost seemed like it was a little messy was just because you could see the product. Like I applied it in my bathroom over the sink. So naturally any, any product that fell off my fingers went into the sink and it was colored. So I could see it. It stood out up against my white sink, but I have a feeling that when I'm applying any other styler and moisturizer the same amount falls into the sink but it's clear I just can't see it so I'll say in my opinion it the application was not messy all the everything that was on my hands easily washed off and I had no problem Y'all, I cannot stop playing in my hair. Okay, y'all, so I am so happy at the way this color has come out on my hair. I, I've been playing in my hair for the past five minutes or so, and I cannot get enough of it. It's so pretty. Uh, it's really pretty. So Curlsmith, you did it. You did it with this ruby color. I can't speak for the other colors because I have not tried them, but for ruby, this is amazing. Um, so let me talk about this temporary hair color. It says it is for 
all hair types, no gloves are needed. Although my, think my hands did get very stained as I was applying the hair makeup, it washed right off. So you don't need gloves. Um, rinse is in one wash. So I'll find that out when I shampoo and it says it's transfer resistant. So when I wrapped my hair up last night, I used a black scarf. When I took my scarf off, I didn't see any color on it. I held it up to the light and I still didn't see any, any, any transfer. So I'll find out when I pull my hair up in a pineapple tonight. Um, interesting ingredients that are used for the color on this ruby is strawberry, beet extract, rooibos, and watermelon. So those are some of the things that are used to get it this color. This is a vegan product um, and it's cruelty free along with some other wonderful things. So right now, Curlsmith, I'm impressed. I'm actually extremely impressed. And this is the first Curlsmith product I've ever purchased. Based on the performance of the Ruby hair makeup, I'm going to definitely try other products from Curlsmith. I'm having a ball. <laughs> I'm having a ball. Um, so yeah, if you have been thinking about trying the Curlsmith hair makeup, please take it from me and look at my hair. This is awesome. This is awesome. I have sandy brown hair, I have naturally dark sandy brown hair. I never ever plan to dye it, but it's fun to play around with temporary colors that I know won't harm my natural hair. Friends, if you have hung around till this long, I appreciate you. And again, thank you to Curl Smith for allowing me to add some fun color to my hair that's temporary and I know my hair is safe and it's not being damaged. Friends, thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, keep it naturally corporate.